What do you know about Jason Gutterman, who runs the Amangan Set Press YouTube channel? Watch until the end to find out their monthly income and net worth. Let's get started. Lifestyle Jason Gutterman is the founder of Amanga Set Press. Jason has a passion for street photography and video. He and his crew live in a recreational vehicle full-time and have traveled more than 85,000 miles taking pictures of places and people on the street. During this period, Jason has gotten countless smiles and handshakes from strangers. On January 15, 2009, Jason created his YouTube channel. The first video on the channel was uploaded nine years later, on December 23, 2018. It's titled, Alan Alda at Kmart, Police Called, Security Fails to ID, First Amendment Audit 1. In the video, Jason is in a heated argument with Kmart employees who think he's taking pictures in the store. After the argument escalates, Jason is asked to immediately leave the store or have the police called on him. He agrees to leave the store, but the police are waiting for him outside. Jason explains to the police officers everything that had happened, after which they ask him to hand over his driving license. Jason refuses to hand his license to the police officer and walks to his car. Besides videos challenging law enforcement officers not well-versed in various rights and freedoms, Jason uploads product reviews, travel, and hot political tips. The most popular video on the Amangaset Press channel is titled, You're Being Arrested. Turn the camera off, East Hampton Police, First Amendment Audit 47. The video was uploaded on May 3, 2019, and has been watched more than 4.1 million times. In the video, Jason gets into an argument over the phone with Wallace, a gallery store owner, after the latter insults the former for no reason. Wallace calls the police on Jason for harassment. The junior police officer assigned to handle the case arrives at the scene promptly but cannot solve the dispute. Citing dissatisfaction with the junior officer's decision, Jason asks him to call his supervisor. The supervisor arrives at the scene after a short while. After having a conversation with both gentlemen determining that Jason did not harass Wallace. Currently, the Amangaset Press YouTube channel has 361,000 subscribers. Videos uploaded on the channel have been watched more than 89.7 million times. Amangaset Press is also active on other social media platforms. On Instagram, Amangaset Press is followed by more than 7,000 people. On Facebook, Amangaset Press is followed by about 21,000 people. The page is rated 5.0 by 10 reviewers. On Twitter, their page, at Amangaset Press, is followed by 670 people. They also have Patreon and GoFundMe accounts to raise money to finance their educative videos. On Patreon, Amangaset Press has 12 patrons. Biography Jason Gutterman was born in East Hampton in 1970. Details about his parents and siblings are unknown. Jason had a fantastic early life. He loved school and participated in many co-cultural activities. Jason is married to Dolce Maria Gutterman, who is very supportive of her husband's work. They have a son named Benjamin Gutterman. Benjamin works for Amangaset Press. Both Dolce and Benjamin are regularly seen in the Amangaset Press videos recording videos or taking photos. Jason stands 5 feet and 8 inches tall and weighs about 75 kilograms. He is a professional photojournalist and has captured some of the most iconic videos and photos in recent history. His work is widely acclaimed and has even been featured in major news outlets. Net Worth Amangaset Press is one of the most successful YouTube channels. As I mentioned, the channel has 361,000 subscribers. Videos uploaded on the channel have been watched more than 89.7 million times. So, Amangaset Press earns $18,050 per month and $216,600 annually. Amangaset Press's net worth is estimated to be about $649,800. This net worth has been calculated based solely on their YouTube income. However, Amangaset Press could be worth more because they might receive donations from people who live their videos through their Patreon and GoFundMe accounts.